TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. Well, by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? Little warning screen, just in case. Just in case. Uh, Patreon.com, man. That's where you can catch UK series, UK movies, and Premier League highlights. Don't forget Twitch.com is where you can catch um, live streams. Usernames on the bottom of the screen, man. This is Police Interceptors. I don't know what season or what episode, but you can still talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Swerving in front of us at 100. Pursuits drive the interceptors to every corner of their 834 square mile patch. Go on, girl. Get ready. A high-speed chase can explode out of nowhere. Stay alongside and keep them up. And rocket from naught to a ton in a heartbeat. It's doing 100 mile an hour. We need to box it. Stop, stop. But sometimes right. they have to... Oh, uh, Lisa from the jump? <laughs> Who would have knew? Play the waiting game. Bless you. Bless you. Lying in wait for a silver suspect beamer, Bruce Arnold and Lisa DeSantis. Why would Lisa want one of your nuts? You answer me that. Why would Lisa want one of your nuts? You. See, you see how focused she is? She ain't even paying attention to you. Bless you. Lying in wait for a silver suspect beamer, Bruce Arnold and Lisa DeSantis are having a snack off. I've brought some nuts today. Do you know what I've got? Cashews, pecans and walnuts. Mm -hmm. You see, when you brought one nut, she's brought an assortment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Lisa smashed it. Only the best, darling. Only the best. That's Bruce likes a double decker, but high fiber snacks are just the job on a long day with a tough nut to crack. It's too much nut jokes. And as darkness falls, pecans and patience pay off. Their beamers been spotted. The uh, one says we're the black boots looks like he's coming back in towards knots. It's coming this way. Oh, that's Intel suggests the Beamer is being driven without insurance, tax, or an MOT by a banned driver who has already hit three speed cameras. It's quite the resume, so Bruce kills the lights to lie in wait. Stop line. Back, 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 back. With it. A few streets away, an unmarked car is. So if the if a police officer turns off their lights, like like they're doing to to be slick and sneak up on somebody, and they're still driving in the middle of the night, and another car hits them and they can't see them because their lights are off, who's at fault? Tailing the target. It's heading straight for Bruce and Lisa, so they took themselves into a side road, ready to drop in behind in case things heat up. We're just up ahead in front of the bus. It's just um, going to pass us shortly. You see it? Too loud. The driver's clocked his company, but doesn't want to chat. He running? Left, left, into Dilverton Vale. He's gonna go. Uh, it's 
quite a certain that it's man over driving over the speed bumps. The signs don't look good, and a flash of the blues seals the deal. Oh, he's gone. gone. He's going. Yeah, yeah. We knew he was gone from the jump. We never thought he was thinking around. Stop. Uh, the driver, speed eight zero, which is low. He's off like Apollo 11, rocketing round a residential street at four times the speed limit. Ashley Lane, speed, all here on the first two A red light, straight line, and it's up to me. Iris, through the red light, straight over. The runaway sails through a red light on a wing and a prayer, the lead car tight on its tail. <laughs> Behind the wheel and flying, Paul Charlesworth rides beside the team Sarge. Y'all really should let Lisa lead. Well, I don't understand why Lisa's not driving. I seen her drive like a couple weeks ago, and she was really, you know what I'm saying? She she really showed a lot of charisma behind that steering wheel. Lenny Bennett. Stand by. The overtake stock the lane, approach the mini roundabout. The overtaking vehicles, just pulling away. Stand by. Right, keep up. Their in-car camera shows the runaway reaching such reckless speeds. Immediately left Bagnall Road. That it's impossible for interceptors to keep it in sight. Total loss. What kind, of, what kind of car did they say they was driving? Any roundabout. We'll take the first left. Let's go left. Goldcrest Road. Complete loss. But all is not lost. I'm going to go straight on. Bruce and Lisa are en route to cut him off. It's the girl road towards the island. Lisa gonna find him. We're just heading towards that now, 2 2. And they're closer than they think. Hey, you, uh, what's my start coming through? See it, see it. See it. Two on six, ten. Just come along with it, that's great. Can we come in? It's on. Oh, they decamp though. Lisa, on the roundabout, nobody in it, decamp. <laughs> The runaways have done a disappearing act. Which there's gone. Oh, he's gone. But they can't have got far. Just going into the shop at the top. Why Lisa get out like she was doing something? Just please. Yeah. The men inside. It, there were two flagged down by a biker it appeared to into the night. <laughs> when we saw it, there were two white males in it, and one appeared to have a beard. Bruce is flagged down by a biker who claims to know where one of the escapees went. I'm telling y'all, bro, it's always a law-abiding citizen that's going to tell on you. That's the one thing you always should account for. Just going into the shop at the top. Cops are all over the area. With reinforcements coming in fast. Yeah, Why he got on orange pants with reflectors on? You were never gonna get away. Lenny's out and onto a man matching the description of one of the runaway suspects. What the f it's in me for you? Calm down. Calm, calm right. yourself down. He's got to go through his pocket here. But there's no rest for the interceptors. You got anything on you shouldn't have? We believe that we've got one male going one direction. And another one, the other. Why he did? Why they get on him like? A sec like, like it, it, this is what any cop. If you make any cop chase you, they're gonna have some type of, some type of aggression for you. Can suspect is still. They're being tamed because they're on camera. On the loose. But he's been spotted. On the other side of the right about to get the real. Bruce is like a crim seeking missile. Locked on target. Stay way off, fella. Stay way off. To the second suspect. Okay. <sighs> Lisa stay with the car, as you can see. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, she's right there. Wait. Oh, she right here. <laughs> Stay 
Second on scene, I ain't even peep. <laughs> My bad, Lisa. Oh dear. You've been okay, drinking, honey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa can't even get the words out. You heard her? This is the first time she ran in, in seven months. She said, you've been drinking, honey. Yeah. <laughs> watch her, watch. Watch how out of breath she is. Oh dear. You've been drinking, honey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she need a Gatorade. She got the Gatorade symbol above her head. She tough. That's the car, tough. it looks as though it's come round the roundabout high speeds because it was failing to stop high yeah, speeds. Yeah, and it's just spun it. And they've obviously not had time to uh, correct it, so they've decamped. Yeah. Members of the public has been really helpful. We've been able to detain yeah, one did. up there and then one across the road. Yeah, Both so absolutely so intoxicated, yeah. so drunk. Um, I'm just glad no one's got hurt. After an investigation, police were unable to identify who was driving the car. No legal action was taken against either man arrested. However, for Lenny, sentencing the car to the scrapyard is a... Not even a DUI. What an absolute place to live. <laughs> it's tough. Forget the, forget the car. It's whatever. Like... Great result for the team. That's the car's got three markers on it for speed camera offences, intel marker for a disc wall driver. As you can see, they just don't care. Do they? They're driving through the state there, 80, 90 mile an hour. You know, pursuits have got the most risk we deal with, um, you know, put the, the really high risk. But what message it send if we just let people go and do that? So yes, we do have to go after them, we'll stop them. And I think we always will be proactive in stopping people, especially when they put people's lives at risk driving like that. Well, I mean, you stopped them tonight, but there were no consequences. So the odds are they did not learn any lesson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shockwaves were sent rippling through the criminal underworld recently when French and Dutch authorities hacked the EncroChat network, a top secret international encrypted messaging service often used to organize serious crime. The intel gathered was invaluable. Now the quit listening and just going. Sergeant Brian Blackmore is briefing his team for a dawn raid. Data has been obtained that has been involved in the supply of large amounts of Class A drugs, primarily with the user of the Encro chat network. He's to be arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to supply cocaine, Class A controlled drug, between the 1st of March this year and today's. Why well, you just stick to FaceTime, man? All that other stuff, all right. Date. Allegedly. And conspiracy to supply Allegedly. heroin for the same dates. Okay. This morning's crucial warrant targets one of the 10,000 Encro Chat users in the UK. We're going to do a knock on the door initially, and then if uh, we don't get a reply, we will force entry to the premises. Until they get the house surrounded, stealth is key. Somebody going to have a dog. Once all the exits are covered, okay. they deliver an early morning wake-up call that's hard to ignore. Knock on the door. Knock on the door. Police officers, come to the door. She's going in. In the nick of time, yeah, our movement top come back to front top. Come down, come down. Come down. down. Got a warrant to get to the Upstairs. It's, it's always how they get you. 5 a.m., 4 a.m., you don't even got enough time to get dressed, brush, do nothing. It's a shock. Cops quickly ascertain that they've got their suspect. What well, I've got to say to you. Okay. Arresting on suspicion of uh, concerns supply of Class A drugs, cocaine and heroin between the 1st of March 2020 and today's date. You understand? Okay, we'll let, we'll let you get dressed. Okay, and then you'll be going down to the bridal to be interviewed. 
He's been compliant. There's no issues at the minute. There's nobody else in the house. He's been arrested on suspicion at this time. Once he's, uh, he's taken away from this address, we'll take him to the Bridewell custody where he'll be booked in. There, the investigation team will carry out their process and meantime we'll undergo a search of these premises for, the, for drugs and anything associated with drugs and drug supply. But before they get a chance to begin the search, the suspect offers up some information. Right. Yes, mate. There's going to be some drugs in there. There's going to be some drugs in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let's have a. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't let them boys do their job. Hold on, y'all know I gotta uh, edit the video. Let's see here. There we go. Is it the uh, sealed bags? Just. Yes. A large package of suspected cocaine. Wow. With the suspect away to Bridewell Nick for questions. He's definitely cooked. 100%. Questioning, the search team sweeps into action, scouring every inch of the house for evidence of drug supply, including key EncroChat hardware. <laughs> Maka, is this one of those phones? I think it is one of those phones. Yeah, it is. EncroChat phones provide military-grade privacy and feature a panic button which completely wipes the device when the heat is on. It's the one that the Dutch authorities decoded and I suspect that may be one of the phones and we know that this address or the user here was linked to using that type of device. It looks like the intel was spot on. And there's more potentially incriminating evidence in the kitchen. Yeah, just... Uh... Bro, it's cooked. Uh, he gonna get like 13, 15, 16 years. It's over. He got... Looks like a dealer list. So just names and money's owed. In the crib? Yeah, this is dumb. Seven grand. This is criminality at its dumbest. You know what I'm saying? Never keep it where you sleep, man. So big numbers. Allegedly. It's a deal bag. It's got remnants of white powder in the bottom, so the chances are the individuals use some cocaine in the night. Each find is meticulously logged, including the jackpot. PC Shane Adams is snapping the suspected coke concealed under the stairs. The last time I checked, I think it was around about 40 or 50 pounds per gram, possibly a kilo, something like that. Uh, same say we haven't weighed it yet, but same say quite a considerable amount if it was. I'm just going to wait. Possibly 40,000. Yeah. So, so and for anybody who's asking me why I do this, is like, I, I, isn't it pretty obvious? Why do I have to explain every time? Which I don't, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, think, really think about it. Just put your thinking cap on and really give it a go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Making some money, someone's lost some money. It's a morning bonanza. Suspect in custody, a huge stash of suspected Class A's, and a phone they believe to be encrypted. Are we done? No, we're not. <laughs> but there's one more surprise in the loft. They're going up to the loft, like guys. Kind of you heard them. Yeah, it's not tough. It's quite well organized. I have a real question. Was he just, was this his actual house or was he using this as a stash and he just slept here? Like, bro, it's cooked. Like, this is dumb. This is really stupidity. It's got transformers, lighting board, plug board, timing switch. And you look in, it's been covered over in a uh, foil mesh to keep the heat in and the back this there's, there's probably about 12 pots with what was cannabis plant growing it's been cut and then on the back of it on the string is where it's being dried out the buds being dried out and this is obviously in a small residential it's over buddy it's over you might as well call your family now property in a residential area the cannabis grow will be dismantled and the electricity board will be called out to check the building is safe. All in all, it's been a successful day's Jesus. work and it's not even 10 a.m. So once we get our exhibits, we will then take You're them still to showing it. Uh, like, literally, the I'm officers not even... who are dealing with it 
uh, and we'll book those items to their property store and then they will then use them with their exhibits for interview. Best editor on the platform. It turned out that the package contained two kilos of amphetamine, a class B drug with a street value of almost £40,000. Still. He awaits his day in court. He lucky. He lucky though. He'll get a lesser charge, but like he got lucky. Yeah. Instead of like double digit years, you'll get like single. There are nearly 10,000 accidents a year on Britain's motorways. Sometimes they replace even the interceptors fear to tread. On the motor, it's a dangerous place. Been stood on the hard shoulder before with with live carriageways running and the, and the sense of speed of cars coming past you in lorries at, at, at even just at 70. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty scary place. Accidents at those speed obviously just leave total carnage, to be honest. So we we'll about to see a car accident. Sergeant Chris Chell and at the wheel, fellow interceptor Lee are on their way to Mansfield. Lane three. If anybody is wondering, I have a green shirt on. <laughs> That's why I was doing this, because the green screen, green shirt. It was, a, it was a mistake on my part. When they notice a car in a dangerous position on the M1 carriageway below. An H uh, from Fox Shot 01. Contact Derbyshire, there's a, a vehicle broke down on the M1, lane three. The driver is stranded in the fast lane. We'll, uh, we'll try and get round to it. We're uh, on the wrong carriage right at the minute. Speaking of accidents, I was out driving around Florida today, and it's it's really crazy the amount of accidents that I see in one day. Like, just imagine your town where you live. How many accidents do you see in a week? Multiply that by five and put it into Monday. That's how many that they do on a Monday in in in. Miami and South Florida, they cannot, and it ain't even that they can't drive, it's just the speed limit is so fast here, like, you can't really recover if you make a mistake. A crash could be catastrophic, there's no time to lose. Chris and Lee need to get to the terrified driver, who has now dialed 999. Police emergency, can I help? This is really dangerous, there's no hot shoulder, I can't move over. And I think my tire's blown. I've got... <laughs> Your tire's blown so the engine still work? Well, she can't do it quickly. That's the problem. Got my baby. Oh, you got your baby. Never mind. We sat in the front seat. I'm so sorry. I just... Oh, it's just so scary. Oh, there's a baby on there as well. Did she say her baby was sat in the front seat? I've flown. I've got, I've got my baby. We're sat in the front seat. We're sat in the front. Why is the baby in the front seat? I'm so sorry. I just, I'm just... The, no matter what, the baby is safer in its car seat in the back. No matter the situation. You shouldn't eat that. I'm so scary. She's panicked. It's all right. Oh, there's a baby on there as well. A woman is trapped inside the car with her three-month-old baby as traffic hurdles past at over 70 miles an hour. 999 calls from other motorists begin flooding in. Just literally junction 25, there's a car on the central reservation. About four of us nearly hit it. A few cars have swerved to miss it, but it's, it's going to be a bad accident in a minute. With lives on the line... Does she got her... Uh, hazard lights on? The hazard lights wouldn't help in this situation, am I? They need to reach the fast lane. Fast. And Chris has plans for a high-risk rescue. What we're going to try and do is get down to that location, put a roadblock on, rolling roadblock, bring the traffic to complete stop, see if we can get them over into the hard shoulder. It's in the lane where folk are driving at speed. This this van did not move at all. Not everyone's paying attention like this bloke here. It's a really precarious place to be, somewhere you don't want to be too long if you can help it. 
I mean, it's just chocker, isn't it? Highways England are also en route. As Chris and Lee make headway towards the breakdown, they start the rolling. Do any tra do, does anybody care? <laughs> do, like, these co these po these regular people are not moving over. Old block. I'm going to try oh, and put go. a bit of a rolling roadblock on for it here, mate. Um, I'll try and slow everybody right down. Right, I'll turn your fronts off. Yeah. It's a horrible place to hate the motorway. Yeah. Give me a firearms job any day of the week. We'll go get the necessary qualifications and you can have one. Lisa got them. Always oh, really, James. Zeroing in on the stricken motorist, they find Highways England are stopping the remaining traffic. Let's see what they're doing. So Chris heads straight for the mum and baby who are still helpless in the fast lane. Hey, oh. Yeah, 100%. I still think she made a mistake. I mean, I know everything, she's panicked. This is a new situation, but don't get your baby out that car seat. Leave your baby in the car seat, rear facing. It's still the absolute safest place for your child to be. Hopefully it's hooked in and everything. It's the safest spot. Hello, you are alright? Uh, yeah, we'll get you in her car, you'll be alright then. You are alright? We're petrified. Yeah, I know you are alright. Let's just jump in the back of our car, you're out of the way then, aren't you? You are alright now, you're fine, you're okay, don't worry. We'll get you off the road and we'll get the car out of the way, okay? Just sit tight. She has every right to be panicked. Like, this is a panicking, this is a situation, it's one of them. It's a it's it's a very high stress situation, but at the same time you gotta think logically at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's been a successful rescue operation, but the mother has been left shaken. You okay? Bit a bit scary, isn't it? Yeah. I just thought we were gonna die, the cars were coming at us. So I know, yeah. You're safe now though. With mum and baby out of harm's way. The interceptors need to get the busy motorway moving again. Good to go. Do you want him to put, stop the uh, slip then? Baby may jump a little bit because I'm just going to put the sirens on to... While Lee gives Baby a masterclass on holding back cars, the Sarge helps pilot Mum's breakdown to the hard shoulder. What tyre is blue? The driver has had a lucky escape. Ah. It looks like one of her front tires blew out in the fast lane. We're in a police car. I'm gonna be 100% real. She could have made it to the hard shoulder. I, I know, like it was a heavy stress situation. She probably wasn't thinking straight, but there's you could have made it over. <laughs> like somehow, some way. Put your blinker on. Slow down. Do the car will need to be recovered. So Chris and Lee get kitted. Trying to get to the hard show. All right, somebody in the comments, like, let me know. Like, what do you think is more dangerous to stay in the fast lane or attempt to get over at speed, though? Like, well, as soon as it happened, like, noticed it and, like, gradually went over. Get out to have baby Eva on board. Right. Where's the baby bag? Is that is that the blue one? Oh, look at the baby. You're right. That is a horrible place to be, isn't it? That was. Yeah. That, I've got to I think that I will have a worse moment of my life ever. Because I know I must have felt. Because I we're firearms cops. I'm just saying I would rather do a firearms job than stand on the motorway any day. Yeah. So the little one's all right. Don't seem don't seem to notice, does she? The interceptors drop the driver off at a service station where she can wait to be picked up. Make sure you get. Well, granted, she panicked because the baby, like 100%. Like, I, you know, anybody would have, but still. You need somewhere where you can just calm down and have a drink. You're going to be all right without us. Yeah. Officer, have a drink with a baby? What are you saying? I'll take some details from you, but my friend from the highways has got uh, your details, hasn't he? Yeah. So I think the plan was he was going to ring you when. My when the recovery coming up. Always. Traffic's really heavy, and in that lane, uh, lane 404, traffic's travelling at 70 miles an hour or faster. 
Um, horrendous, you know, if a driver doesn't isn't concentrating, doesn't see it, uh, the consequences are really horrendous. So don't bear thinking about. Come find your coffee somewhere to sit down. And, uh... Oh, coffee. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking about. I, I was thinking about a, a shot of vodka or something. Taking them to the services, she's comfortable there. She's uh, considerably happier now than she was when we first landed. So, yeah, decent, decent sort of. The baby chilling. Still to come. Mm -mm. Still to come. Nothing. Suspects. Yeah. What's your name? Suspects can be masters of misdirection. What's your name? My name. Mm. Dog officer. The sleight of hand. Mate, what's Danny Pants? Huh? What, what is, is Danny Pants? Nothing. The impenetrable disguise. <laughs> and most frustrating of all, the vanishing trick. It's a lost, lost van from Peter's Street. It's a cold, late shift, and interceptor Rob Ely is dreaming of warmer climbs. I went to, to Jamaica on my, on my only move. Loved every minute of it. But one thrill that... What did you just call it? Say Jamaica one more time, sir. On my only move. My climbs. I went to, to Jamaica on my, on my only move. Did he put a... Did he put an R in there? Jamaica? Loved every minute of it. But one thrill the Caribbean can't offer is chasing uninsured transits like this one. No choice, mm -hmm. no choice, no. Oh, sweet. No choice no help. A speedy Yui. Is there a, that so that car that, that police car is equipped with ANPR? Because how does he know? It has to be, right? And they're locked on target. This lights out towards Wall Bridge. It's a van. It's now failing to stop. Dan says the worst thing about the job is the ones that get away. But there's no chance of this guy joining that select few. They're gaining fast. The runaway carves across the carriageway. Going off. And calls it a day. Don't get up, get up. Yeah, look at this. There's a lot of aggression. They coming out there, pulling them out, everything. It's, you're done. You're done. You might get punched. <laughs> or nicked. Or you should be. He gone? There's no one outside, no one behind the wheel, and the van is locked. Where's it gone? It's magic. He's in the back. He stopped to think he's hiding in the back. There's no one in the driver or passenger seat and uh, no one's decamped that we can see. We need to get in, mate. Yeah, mate, I'm going to smash window in a sec. The best knock-knock jokes... ...have smashing punchlines. But the joke's on Dan and Rob. No. Eh? No. No No one jumped out? It's a classic locked van mystery. Weird. There's just one explanation. Must have decamped. Wait, what? You know, the woodland track that leads down um, into Bestwood Village. Rob marshals the cavalry. Uh, just go and hang around there. I think if he's got if he's got and legged it anyway, it'll be into here. Thanks, mate. And dog handler Chris arrives to take up the search. The only thing, mate, is we've had, he's had cover behind the van and it's gone that way. Not gonna lie, this is one of the most astounding. Who is this? David Blaine was driving the truck. But clues to Mystery Man's escape route prove thin on the ground. I think he's still in the van. Come 
coming out. Mate, listen to me. I've just seen your arm and hatch? I've just seen your little tattoo. So you can come out or we can fill this full of CS. It's up to you. A magician never reveals his secrets, but this one has revealed his arm. You got him? Yeah, I can, mate, I'm looking at his arm here. I've just seen him move. Mate, come out. Stop being an idiot. Rob, chuck the dog in. Mate, you've got a dog, a drone, taser officers. Mate, I... Chuck the dog in. That's all you would have had to say to me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, here I am. I want my skin to remain on my skin. You know what I'm saying? Just chuck him in the back. It's all fun. It won't be fun when an angry Alsatian jumps through the window. As they take out the other side for access... No, he hasn't. She... The invisible man materialises. Hey, get out. Mate, I'll just tase you. Hey, I'll tase you. Put it down. Get that out of your hand. Get out. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Open the door. Open the door. Get the phone. Put it down. Yeah. Stay there. Where's the keys? I don't know. He chucked him in. Just chucked yeah, him in the back. Harass you. What, mate? He chucked him in the back. Well, I won't drive him. Yes, you were, because you only was you was the only person in it. No, I was Get out. Why I then? When you pulled up this way. Nice. To keep keep with your story. You wasn't driving. Simple as that. Got out that way and ran through there. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. It's all gone a bit panto. No, he didn't. What? Then he didn't. You're gonna have to get yourself out. Oh, you don't, mate. Oh, one sec, mate. Don't pull me clean out. Let me get out of this way, then. Yeah, he's getting out now. He was sole occupant. Oh. This looked a lot cooler when the Dukes of Hazard did it. He ain't cut his leg. Finally, he's out and nicked. Right, you're under arrest. Mission cool. failing. Stop. Right, Dangerous right. driving. Do you understand? Yeah, I've done nothing. Anyway. He's got off of course you mind. haven't. Of course you haven't. If he sticks to his story, he could get off. <laughs> If y'all didn't catch him in the driver's seat, ain't no proof. Have a seat in the Beamer. This the UK. And don't do a Houdini from those cuffs. Like a magic trick that was. You just disappeared. But the great Sorendo maintains he wasn't the driver. Well, I did, but plenty of seats in the back of the van. Oh, why don't you come out then? Do you mind it twice? I'm well, scared. Well, what, <laughs> what do you mean you're scared? Scared like you're smashing the bloody window. Well, right, what do you mean? What do you mean? You you threatened with CR gas, dog, taser. I would have been scared too. Still need to take a look inside the transit. I think the keys are going to be in the back somewhere, uh, but I'm not crawling through grass. It takes 10 minutes to find a volunteer to crawl through glass. Straight in. Two more to find a wallet. Oh, sweet. Nice one. Oh, what's that in there? And one more to find a little plastic bag. Oh dear! I don't, see. don't even start. Y'all know. Y'all know it was coming. That sugar. Small amount of white powder. Mm. But opening the mystery machine is a taller order. It's booger sugar. How many cops does it take to get into a board transit connect? If at first you don't succeed, bending it. Give it some welly. Boom. Stand by, boys. Or. I normally find entry to a vehicle is uh, much easier with a key. <laughs> the key was under a mat. There we go. No. So if the suspect's to be believed, a mystery driver... Dang, they didn't total the car out with all this damage they did to it. ...threw it there and ran off, somehow locking the doors behind him. The full abracadabra. We're in. Hey, up. A thorough search of the van. Yeah, that's where the key was. Turns up what looks like a bag of weed. Where's that? Just in the door pocket. His trick almost worked. Mysterious case of the uh, disappearing man. But now he's disappearing to the nick. We win. He's definitely going to get away with it. And then they talking about some we win. No, yeah, they didn't catch him in there. We win. We win at the end of the day. Don't forget where y'all at now. It's the UK. The invisible van man was arrested for dangerous driving, failing to stop, no insurance and driving whilst disqualified, as well as possession of Class A and B drugs. The investigation is ongoing.
Every day in Nottinghamshire, the police deal with nearly 100 incidents involving antisocial behaviour, bringing them face to face with suspects who rarely come quietly. Sometimes when you're confronted with individuals, sometimes things just happen very quickly and whether you talk people down or whether ultimately you have to go hands on to go older people, it's almost something you do. Lisa, what are you doing back? We started the show with you and we ending it with you? That's crazy. Instinctively, because that is what we do. That's just the nature of the beast. It's like a treat, two for one special. So here we are on 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. But we've got the added bonus this evening of having an extra bonus hour. It's a nine hour, eight hour night shift. Squeezing in that extra hour of fun as the clocks go back are interceptors Lee Frith and at the helm, Paul Chong. Mm, no, nah, I actually feel it. That's the worst when you at work. I remember I used to work in a hotel and the time used to go back. In one year, they tried to make me stay. I was, eh, if you don't stop playing with me, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Clock smooth out on them. The road to dead, nobody's out. I was one of those people who would have at work if, I don't care if the next shift show up or not. My time here is done. You understand? I'm finished. I hope there's a manager on duty because I'm not staying. <laughs> I am not staying. It's not my job. I don't get paid for it. Goodbye. Generally, nothing's happening. So, yeah, look for the few people that are out that are probably up to no good. As the clock strikes three, a troublemaker is in full swing. Anonymous callers rang in to say that there's uh, a man on the street damaging cars. A taxi driver's pulled up and he's damaged his car as well, and he's got a potential weapon in his hand, so a taser's been authorised. Assaults against the police in Nottinghamshire are on the rise. Lee and Paul can't take any chances. So he's on next born road end. <clears throat> What's his description again? I've mad and smashing cars up, is that? Yeah, she's not passed any description. Ah. Reports say the suspect is tooled up and smashing cars. They need to grab him pronto. Fox Rod 2 2 State 6 in the area. Why do people do that? Like, this is people like. You know, a car is probably a lot of people's most expensive asset. Like, why are you. Unless they own, a, 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 they own their living area. But, like, bro. I'm just rolling the down on the yeah. In the deserted streets, they spot someone. There you go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. He's got a knife. He's got something in his hand. I oh, know it's a bottle. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's a false alarm. It's going to be him. Lee and Paul try and have a polite word. I don't want to talk to you. Well, have you damaged the car or something, mate? I've damaged no car. F mate, don't tell me. To f I need to talk to you. Listen, you not talk to people like you not want to talk to people. <laughs> So I'm going to talk to you like you would have... I've just pulled up, mate. I've no idea what's going on. Talk to me. I've no idea what's going on. I talk to you. Don't talk to me. All right. He turned up. It's a fifth of Hennessy in that bottle. <laughs> this is Hennessy anger. Clutching a bottle of vodka, the suspect is... Oh, okay. Vodka too. Vodka is, vodka is also an angry liquor as well. On the warpath from the get go. I'm just trying to talk to you. Who are you? Because you pulled up in the first place. Go on, touch me. I'm not, I don't want to touch you. I'm not arresting you. Ain't that Charlie Sloth's vodka? <laughs> Mate, I'm just trying to talk to you. Who are you? Because you pulled up in the first place. I don't even know if we're here for you. So what are you right? Right? So we are. Coming, man. Yeah. Paul is used to tricky customers. He's taser trained but knows the best approach for hard nuts can be softly, softly. Just calm yourself down, mate. Is that someone from Box Police Station? Sight of a second unit provides the perfect distraction. Why are you touching? Don't touch me, bro. Why are you touching me for? Come in. Why are you touching me? No need to taser a man when you've got the nouse numbers. Listen, that's one of the perks of having a female officer on duty. He seen that female officer. He was hold on now. How you doing, ma'am? Gotcha. <laughs> and muscle to get him in cuffs. Put your arms around your back. 
Yeah, why? Right. Just put your arm right. down. Kill her. Kill her. Right. Kill her. Because you've been right. a... I want to deal with you calmly. Right. Yeah, 100% he's seen her and instantly his, was distracted. And he off that vodka. That vodka like a like a blue chew. <laughs> that vodka, aka Viagra. <laughs> hey. He's not going down without a fight. Put your arm down your back. Why? That's one. Other arm. Other arm. Why are you touching me, bro? Why? Why? She's being aggressive in the street. I've not been aggressive. And there's an allegation against you for damaging a car. No, I've not damaged no car. So well, we'll find that out when we get to the bottom. I'll get fucked up. Give it to you, you cheeky little bastard. Hang on. All right, up, fella. Chill out. Well, you know Just calm yourself it. down, mate. You're a boss for fed you. Yeah, chill out. He can't calm down. He's drinking vodka straight. Do you understand what's going on in his body right now? That's vodka. The first time I got drunk was all vodka. Straight. A gallon. A Svetka. How old was I? About 17, 18, 17. I was an athlete. I wasn't no big drinker until after that. You know what I'm saying? Can I stand up? I'm cool with you. Can I talk to you? Yeah, come here. Talk to you, bro. Cool. Cool. No, I'm cool with you. No. He's got some fighting talk for Lee. You know, if I have a cage fight with you or your mate, I will knock you out, bro. I have a cage fight with me. I have a cage fight. Elbows and hey, mate, just calm yourself Test down. Me. Test me, mate. Test me. I'm only 15 stone, yeah? Test me, mate. I'll power drive you and your mate. Listen, the cage fighter might be cuffed. I was muted. Oh my god! I said I'm trying. I was trying to hear what dialect of vodka that was. Different vodkas give you different language of anger, so it's like it's levels to it. But I remember that was the Charlie Sloth uh, AU vodka. He's refusing to throw in the towel. Tell him, no, no, tell him, bro. You know it. I'm a cage fight, you know, bro. I can fight, you know. I can fight. Yeah. He's a cage fighter, you know. He doesn't like me. Don't take it personally. He doesn't seem keen on Lee either. Go to a cage fight, bro. You no, know, me and you got in a cage fight. I'd wrap you up, bro. Arrest me, you know. Arrest me. For bro. Lee, the bonus hour can't oh, pass a minute steroids. too soon. I don't take steroids, yeah. I don't. I do. Uh, listen, I only drink alcohol, yeah, and don't take no steroids. Don't sniff no cocaine. I'll elbow your lot's face off. Let's do it. Thanks, but we'll pass. I'm gonna elbow your face off. Yeah. I'm getting el elbowed. Yeah. yeah, I need to find Sophie. Sophie's the cage fighter. Get Sophie out here and he wouldn't be talking like this because then it would be even ground. I don't think I've ever been threatened with that before. Face off finished, Nicholas Cage Fighter will be given the elbow and sent to the Nick. Oh, good film. <laughs> good film. I'm going to elbow your face <laughs> off. <laughs> You've not seen the film? I like it though. What is it? The face off, the film. No. Oh, I watch it on rest days. <laughs> I didn't want to laugh at the joke, but it was kind of funny. No, he just didn't want to engage with us in the slightest. Yeah, I mean, he's a big lad, clearly wound up. You've got a few options. Taser's one, I had mine out just because I wasn't sure which way he was going to go, but then he wasn't like aggressive towards us or anything. But then it, I think we were happy that he was the lad that's done the damage, so he's, <laughs> he was always going to be arrested. Um, so it's just a case of finding the right time and I just decided it was when he was looking away from me. <laughs> the owner of the car didn't want to make a statement. No legal action was taken against the suspect for the alleged criminal damage or threats to elbow. I'm not gonna lie, that bottle of vodka, was it, is it not glass? Is it titanium? Like how did it break that and didn't break? The bottle didn't break. Uh -uh. Kicking off his night shift in the north of the county is Phil Broughton. Why is Phil so always to Redford? Why is Phil always the closer? Life and then across to work shop, uh, and his proactive patrols to target uh, 
uh, criminal use of the road. And criminal use of the road appears to be happening just behind Phil. A617 on Kirkland Road, um, you might have a drink driver. Local cops are pulling over a red Kia, which they saw weaving across the road. From uh, Oscar Tango 82, I've just passed you. Do you want me to come back to you? Fine. Please, um... Phil's riding to the rescue of another unit, whose hands are full with a different suspect. <laughs> Leaving this lucky lady to the cavalry. Hello. She's been to here, I just need to make sure she's... Hey, up. Right. What it is, my, my phone's broke, my sat nav, so yeah. I was telling my passenger I what to press on this. Right. And I was trying to find a safe place to pull up. Oh, yeah. To do it. The driver's got... What, what, that is sensational cap, ma'am. You're lying. ...to her five-year-old child and a friend in the car. With a kid in the car, too? She's already passed the breath test, but Phil still suspects she is... Oh, she passed the breathalyzer. Okay. ...isn't in a fit state to drive. Do you use anything you shouldn't do? No, no, I just passed well, it. No. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about cannabis. Nothing. No. Nothing else? No. no worries, just come down to my car a sec. During two decades in the force, Phil's dealt... This... Okay, gotta make sure they ain't pulling out no drugs. ...with everything from violent offenders to runaway ferrets. But one thing that really grinds this interceptor's gears is dodgy driving. So, just to kill me through then, you've been seen weaving. Initially thought you were driving, but you say it's because you were fiddling with your phone. My sat now was broke. Right. My proper phone was being stolen. He's borrowed, it. well, my middle son's borrowed me this. It was fiddling trying to get the, the sat now, and I've got to leave the one now it's that. Right. Phil's not buying it. No worries. I've not met you before. I know there's a smell of alcohol on your blown zero, but you're very, very lethargic in your, your behaviour. Why is that? Well, because I just want to get home. Want to... No worries. He might just be sleepy, Phil. You never know. Right. right. Do you use anything? Nothing to eat. Her blood sugar low. In no. illegal substances wise. But I'd be honest with me, because. Yeah. Nothing. I, I broke, so I was trying to catch an old fellow off. There's only one way to get to the bottom of this. Right, because of the amount of driving, we're required to provide me sample of saliva for a drugs test. I must warn you that failure of refusal is an offence for which you could be prosecuted. Do you agree to provide a sample of saliva for a drugs test? Yeah. You do. Just lean forward and stick your tongue out. So lean forward as far as you can. That's it. When served up a little saliva, a drugs wipe test can detect cocaine and cannabis in just eight minutes. Well, what if she's on heroin? As the wait begins, Phil gets an update from Control. Ah, oh, 10-4. I didn't realise that. Sorry, what's the DQ till? And what? Records show the woman is a band driver. That's a mistake. I kind of... It's, it's fully legit. No, no, no. The vehicle has insurance yeah. on the proviso or the assumption that you have a driving license. Yeah. Well, DVLA have recorded you as a, an expired substantive and that you're disqualified from driving. Well, there's some sort of mistake. Right. They'll have to agree to disagree for now because the drugs wipe results are in. What a... I think she high. Do you remember the last time you took cocaine? I haven't known when took cocaine. I had a couple of drugs at a fight before I came on that. Right. Um, which I got told I'd be I don't have cocaine. Right. At this moment in time, I'm arresting you on suspicion of driving this motor vehicle whilst disqualified from driving and also on suspicion of driving this vehicle whilst over the specified limit for cocaine. Don't have cocaine. Well, you've tested positive for cocaine on here, OK? Whether she agrees or not, her next stop will be a visit to the Nick for an evidential drugs test. Which a kid in the car is crazy. What's, what's having happened? I'm going to call you to come with, to yeah, us. We're going to drive that vehicle back to Mansfield Police Station and then your friend is going to look after your child while you're processed. That vehicle's going to be seized. Ain't family services going to be involved too? As they set off, it seems these two still aren't seeing eye to eye. I've got my baby in the car, what's being drove off by someone I don't even know. 
right. Police officer, or no, officer or no police officer, my child has never left my side. Right. You should have thought of that before you put that cocaine in your nostril, ma'am. You gotta make better decisions than this. But what you also need to realize is you're driving a vehicle potentially with no license, you're disqualified from driving I'm for a reason. Qualified. Now listen I'm to me, not. now listen to me. Yeah. And also, whilst testing positive for I cocaine. Not had no cocaine. So you should not have that child in that car with you because you're I putting that car not, child in no danger. Ma'am, do not make me call Child Protective Services tonight. Okay. Well, this is what this procedure is going to establish. Yeah, but you're taking no blood. You can do it any other way, but no blood. I've got a few needles. Two hours. No, they're not taking no blood. Come on, man. Cut it out. After dropping the driver off at the station. No, I mean, for the, the excuse to start her from the moment she was stopped when she was asked about the, the weaving. Because uh, she said that she was helping a friend navigate using his phone. Which again, she's admitted she's not paying attention to the road. At every step, she's tried to fight. Not even gonna lie, the way this outfit is set up leads me and Phil to believe that you are clearly on drugs. Ain't no way you're not on drugs if you stepped out like this. 100%. I had an excuse why not to do something. Uh, and all that's done, it's just made the procedure longer than what it, it, it should have been. Uh, but we've managed to get to a point where she's provided samples, she's been released and we'll wait for the results of that. But yes, I need a break, I need to sit down and I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> Forensic samples show the driver did have cocaine in her system. She's been summoned to court for driving whilst unfit through drugs, driving whilst disqualified and no insurance. Cooked. What about the baby? And that's all, folks. See you later. Leave a like, comment, and go.